Hello and welcome back. In this video, we'll explore the Ichimoku Cloud Indicator, a powerful tool for algorithmic traders looking to develop automated trading strategies using Python. Here are the topics we'll cover in this course. We'll start with the basics, explaining what the Ichimoku Cloud Indicator is and how it works. Then, we'll dive into how the strategy works. Next, we'll walk through the code used for backtesting and optimizing the Ichimoku Cloud strategy. Finally, We'll take a closer look at the backtesting results to understand the strategy's performance. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid understanding of how to implement the Ichimoku Cloud strategy and use the provided code effectively. So, without further ado, let's get started. We'll begin with the basics of the Ichimoku Cloud indicator. What is the Ichimoku Cloud? The Ichimoku Cloud is a detailed indicator that shows support and resistance, trend direction, momentum, and trading signals. It has five main components Tenkan Sen, Conversion line. Shows the short-term trend by averaging the highest high and lowest low over the last nine periods. Kijun Sen, baseline. Indicates the medium-term trend by averaging the highest high and lowest low over the last 26 periods. Senku Span A, leading span A. Averages Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen, plotted 26 periods ahead, forming one edge of the cloud. Senku Span B, leading span B averages the highest high and lowest low over the last 52 periods, plotted 26 periods ahead, forming the other edge of the cloud. Chiku span, lagging span, plots the closing price, 26 periods back to help spot potential trend reversals. The area between Senku span A and Senku span B is called the Kumo, or cloud. The cloud is crucial for identifying the trend's strength and direction. When price is above the cloud, it signals an uptrend. When price is below the cloud, it signals a downtrend. When price is within the cloud, it indicates a consolidating or ranging market. Let's define our buy signal for the Ichimoku cloud strategy. Our buy signal will be generated based on the following conditions. Step 1. The cloud is green. First, we look for the cloud to be green. This means Senku span A is above Senku span B, indicating an uptrend. Step 2. Close price crosses above the upper cloud. Next the close price should cross above the upper cloud. This confirms that the price is breaking out into an uptrend. Step three, close price is greater than the open price. Then we check if the close price is greater than the open price. This shows that there is upward momentum during the trading period. Step four, conversion line is greater than the baseline. Finally, the conversion line should be greater than the baseline. This crossover indicates bullish momentum. With these conditions, we can effectively identify potential buy opportunities using the Ichimoku Cloud strategy. To manage our trades, we will implement take profit and stop loss levels. These levels will help us lock in profits and limit losses, respectively. We will use parameter optimization to find the best percentage for these levels. In the next section, we'll cover the code for backtesting and optimizing this strategy to see its performance in historical data. If you're not familiar with Freck Trade, a powerful crypto trading bot written in Python? Check out our tutorial linked in the description. Plus, you can join my Patreon to get access to this strategy code. Details are also in the description below. We'll be discussing a robust trading strategy called Ichimoku Cloud. Let's dive into the details of this strategy. Step 1. Setting up the strategy. First, we name our strategy Ichimoku Cloud and set the trading time frame to 1 hour. We specify that we do not want to short sell. This strategy focuses on long trades only. Step two, ROI and stop loss. For our return on investment, ROI and stop loss, we'll use parameter optimization to achieve the best results. This ensures our strategy is fine tuned for maximum profitability. We do not use a trailing stop in this strategy. Step three, strategy parameters. We define a parameter for our upper cloud multiplier, which will be optimized for best performance. We'll also experiment with different leverage levels to find the most effective setting. Step 4. Populating indicators. Next, we define the method to populate our indicators. We calculate the Ichimoku cloud indicators and store them in the data frame. We determine the upper and lower bounds of the cloud based on whether the cloud is green or red. Step 5. Populating Entry Trend Signals We define our method to populate the entry trend signals. Here are the conditions for entering a long trade. 
One, the close price is greater than the open price. Two, the cloud is green. Three, the conversion line is greater than the baseline. Four, the close price crosses above the upper cloud, adjusted by our upper cloud multiplier. Five, there is trading volume. Step six, populating exit trends. For exit trends, we set a default value indicating no specific exit signal. Once our strategy is ready, we perform FREC trade hyperparameter optimization for each leverage level from one to five. Next, we'll use the FREC trade backtesting command. We'll run this backtest on a one hour time frame while incorporating five minute time frame details to enhance realism. By using the breakdown month parameter, we can analyze our profits on a monthly basis. Overall, increasing leverage boosted potential returns, but also raised risk, as seen in higher drawdown percentages. The sharp ratio indicated that leverage levels two and four offered the best risk adjusted returns. I prefer level two due to lower drawdown, with 432 trades and a 133.86% profit over six months. Monthly performance varied, with gains early on and drawdowns later. Next, let's review the visualized summary for leverage level two, which shows the strategy's performance. At the top, the trade logs detail each transaction. And in the middle, the cumulative profit line displays steady growth in the first four months, with little change in the final two due to market conditions. However, never bypass the forward testing phase on a paper account. This step is crucial for understanding how the strategy performs in real time without risking real money. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you found it enlightening and beneficial. If you're keen to explore more algorithmic trading strategies for cryptocurrencies, be sure to check out this playlist. See you next time.